There's our first fish of the day. Oh my gosh, how do we lose that? Good Lord, see it happens to everybody guys. We are out here today for a fish fry, so we are keeping our fair amount of fish. And we got a bunch of people coming to a large fish fry you guys are gonna see at the, in probably about ex episode maybe three. of this series, but we're building up a freezer for this huge fish fry. All right, first keeper of the day. Not a bad keeper for our fish fry right there. Too small, even that's too small for a fish right now. I generally like a small fish for fish fries. I don't like to keep the big ones. I like to have just the nice size eater size. Even on the small side, I'll keep, I'll keep them. I think they taste better. I think it's a firmer meat, a lot of factors. Flying bait pop, a little tougher bite this morning than I like. So <clears throat> we're gonna change up this monkey milk with a little bit of a blue. That'll get that scent right down to it. We got small fish problems right now. These are too small for a fish fry. All right, time to change. We've got, uh, we went to the back of the lake, really. And it just seems like we're catching tons of small fish, even for a fish fry. I like the small fish. I really do for a fish fry in particular. So um, we're gonna have to move uh, elsewhere because right now, it's just not happening right now. Vertical jigging, not getting a ton of bites. And uh, we're gonna have to mess with some baits, I guess. But we're gonna have first just change location. And a lot of times just changing location will make the change that you need. Deep fish, 18 feet. Great fish right there, super deep, new location. So we're bringing it all the way down to him. We're talking 18 feet. I got asked this question before, what can I do to find the bigger fish? And sometimes going just absolutely deep um, is the key. So we got one coming, see if he's gonna commit to it. Mm, barely touched it. And that's a keeper fish. So I think that is a, a super cool uh, key to summer fishing. If you're not fi finding the fish that you need, number one is move. Obviously, uh, sizing down your baits is always a positive. I'll fish with a 164th ounce hair jig. Those are available on my website too. Um, also, that's another key is to really size down your baits, but moving is obviously a very quick, but sometimes it's not quick, you know, everybody's lake's different. Um, and I typically will size down just because I usually always have the four hammer tens in the boat, and so I just change to another rod that has a different bait on it. <sighs> Hair jigs, water displacement change is other, another way to do it. Um, but as we're seeing today, moving is a big factor. There's a good fish. Ooh, baby. That is a big fish. Gonna make a nice fillet. All right, so no joke, that's the best fish of the day so far. It's about a 13 incher, really good fish. Um, having to move around, do a lot of different things. I have changed, I have not shared all the bait changes that I've done, but I've gone through hair jigs, small hair jigs, 
big hair jigs, hair jigs that I don't ever use color-wise, gold. Uh, I typically use gold always on uh, muddier waters. Um, did catch a couple on it though. Um, but right now it's smaller fish, so we're just trying to figure it out. I think the, the some of the big keys for, for summer fishing when it gets tough like this is um, changing your baits and just moving. You just have to keep moving. And sometimes it's a time of day deal. I've noticed a lot lately on my lake is that, you know, the bite's really occurring mid morning, not necessarily early morning. Um, but that changes, that changes from day to day. I don't know if that has to do with the moon. I don't necessarily believe in the whole moon calendar thing, uh, them eating it. I mean, I, I do to some extent, but sometimes I've, it's proven completely opposite. So I'm not a big moon phase guy, but uh, we just keep pushing ahead. Uh, got the hammer 10, the snipe and braid, all the great products going on. Uh, and we definitely are putting fish in the boat. So we're roughly around 15, but none of any major size other than that one we just caught. So we're gonna keep pushing. Yeah, it's a good fish, good solid eater. That's what we like to see right there. Went back to my Patriot color uh, on the website. Black, one thirty-second ounce head. Seems to be working. See dropping down right there guys. Working the crappie brakes right now, slowing down. Slow presentation, key. Oop, got a bite there. Hopefully the plastic stayed on. That's where I like that wire keeper. Gives me a little bit more confidence that it did. And there it is. It must have stayed on. You gotta love that wire keeper. That's a good fish right here, guys. Good solid eater, good solid eater. Perfect fish for a fish fry, 11 incher. Great fish. That wire keeper on those jigs are, is key in my opinion. It really does hold those baits on better in my opinion. Another solid eater. Just getting her done. Hammer 10, sniping braid, bait pop, everything working in working together to make it happen. You just see my foot down here, it pumps the crappie brakes while I'm here. Most people don't know that I'm doing it, it just happens natural now. It's kind of funny, it's like riding a bike, you don't even think about it. Um, but I'm working those brakes just to try to maintain the best position I can on the pile. Um, I always promote a A plus service on my guide ser trips and, and that includes the equipment. Um, you know, everything on my boat works. Um, and you're gonna get to see the latest in technology. Crappie brakes coming from PTG, you gotta check them out. You know, I believe the rumor has it that the uh, Ultrex is gonna be offering a brushless at this iCast and I will without a doubt be on the shortlist for that one. I am gonna be all about that. I am excited about that. And yes, I do think the Ultrex is better than the, the, the Force. Although I think that if you're picking, honestly, between any of those guys, you are in an extremely fortunate position. But I do think this Ultrex is a, it's time to upgrade to a brushless. A quieter system. I don't mind the wire so much as, cause I do want, I don't want to lose the feel on the pedal. Anyway guys, great day, thanks for watching. Kind of a short episode I know. We're just getting prepped up for this fish fry and I think the next couple episodes will be exactly like this where we're just, we're just trying to catch fish. Just get fish in the boat so that we can uh, have a great fish fry with a bunch of people. So anyway, thanks for watching. Please subscribe, all that great stuff. Have a great one.